everyone, it's Karen from the Beyond IVF Baby Channel. Finally have my full hormone results and I wanted to share them with you. I'm not exactly excited about these results, but it's very important to share them to really get a better feel of how PRP may or may not help patients. Anyways, as you can see here, the very last um, complete hormone checkup I had was on 916. So it was a little while ago approximately eight months ago. So basically at that time, I already did a battery of tests and um, I was 39, it was 916, and these are the values we came up with. These are the values um, that determine um, basically your fertility and success for IVF, pregnancy, all that kind of stuff. So FSH was 11.30. Estradiol 44.5, LH 5.31, AMH 0.77. And we're not worried about the score on the far right. And if we look at this, we can also see that my egg retrieval score, which means for our IVF, was reduced. It wasn't that great at four. Um, since I'm not discussing IVF in this particular episode, um, we'll save that for another time and we'll get on with the big reveal of my current results. So, 531 was the date I had my test. As you can see, AMH 0.71, LH 7.6, FSH 12.7, and estradiol. 76, I'm sorry, 32.76. Now, definitely next time I will um, be speaking with my RE. I'll be asking him why I wasn't tested a little bit more frequently um, with all those hormone levels. The reason being is it would help to really see how much, if any, my levels dropped, stay the same, or didn't change. So again, kind of like a comparison, um, 531, 2017, AMH was 0.71. Looking back almost a year ago, AMH was just a little bit higher, and you want the higher the number is better for, a from, for AMH unless you have something called PCOS, and that's again another story. So LH now at 7.6. Before it was 5.31, FSH was 12.7, um, a while ago it was 11.30, estradiol was 32.76, and a while ago it was 44.5. So, important to find out exactly what's going on with my hormones when I have my next period. Now, that's supposed to come in the next couple days. So I will have my cycle day two test and we'll get new results and it'll probably be a little over three and a half weeks before everything is ready. Now, if you're considering PRP, I would advise, I was in a big rush to get over to Grace and get everything in order and I neglected to see how long ago my last complete hormone test were. Um, to explain, between those eight months, from 916 until now, I ended up getting pregnant naturally, and unfortunately, that ended in miscarriage. And then, less than two months later, my doctor said this is a time to go directly into IVF. We did that, and it failed. So, next time, we will talk about my results to see what is going up, down, staying the same, um, what exactly those values mean and also what possible next steps will be happening. Anyways, until next time, I will see you later, and perhaps I will have some other educational episodes um, where I do discuss IVF, questions to ask, especially if you are in or may be in POF or DOR. So again, until next time, I'll see you later.